Hello, welcome to another Bamboo Lab filament testing video, and this time they are PETG filaments. The basics, translucent and CF. The carbon fiber version was sent by Bamboo Lab when I got that big box, uh, but at that moment I didn't have the other two, so that I bought them myself to have the complete set for this video. Now I was thinking if I should include the translucent because uh, first I thought that it is like a basic with the less coloring pigments but then I analyzed the specifications on the website and I can see quite big differences in properties so I decided that I will do that full testing with this filament too. But also I want to do some test prints because I'm curious how transparent is this but just to save on time I will just show you the final printings and not the printing process. Why should you choose the PETG over PLA? Well, first of all, higher uh, temperature resistance. Instead of 50, it can be approximately at 70 degrees Celsius. The second is it should be less brittle. And also, which I'm not testing here, is that it is resistant to water. And also, it is great for outdoor use. So if you are not able to print ASA, PETG may be a good solution uh, for the outdoor using. I have a cousin who is printing RC boats for the fishermen, you know, for feeding the fish. And he started with the PLA, but very quickly he moved to the PETG because he noticed that the PLA deforms in the water. I didn't test it yet, but I, I trust him here. So yes, definitely the PETG is great if you have some water applications. It is important to mention that on the website, even on the box, we can see instructions for the drying but uh, 8 to 12 hours on 60 degrees Celsius. I mean, no chance that I or I think most of the users will not dry it so long. Usually the PETG I am testing out of the box, but okay, I will give it a drying and that will be only 2 hours on 60 degrees Celsius approximately. It is interesting to see the difference in the packaging. So it looks like the carbon fiber version is really sensitive to moisture because this kind of packaging is better against the humidity. And be careful, it is receivable on this side. So don't open it on the other side, which is actually bigger. They will be opened one by one before the printing, and then I will dry them two hours, and then they will go to the X1 carbon, but from the open air because I don't have the AMS there. AMS actually is really good with PETG filament because it keeps them dry the old AMS, not the light version. Let's start with PETG Basic. And with every filament it will be the same, two hours of drying and then printing on Exxon Carbon. It's time to start with the printing from the open air. I'm using the texture PI sheet without any glue stick Let's check the different settings in Bebo Studio. The print temperature 255, the flow 13 and 70 degrees Celsius on the bed surface on texture PI sheet. And here you can see a short time lapse. The printing is not finished but I'm preparing the translucent, I'm placing it in the filament dryer. The plate almost cooled down but quick better occasion check. Oh, okay, it's good. And when it cools down, translucent filament in Bebo Studio, the different settings, print temperature 245 degrees Celsius, 70 on texture bed, and only 6 cubic millimeters per second is the max flow. Later I print something to test the transparency, but the uh, first few layers looks very transparent to me. And again one short timeless video of the printing. And I already mentioned that I will need a few more test prints from this material. Now let's analyze the transparency. So this was printed in this position and actually the smooth surface would be better. Anyway, let's check. So this is one layer thick, two layers, three layers. And interesting, in all three cases, the transparency is almost equal. And now let's see the wall. One, two and three walls thick. This is just a cylinder, two walls, three walls thick. Transparent, but not so nice, interesting. And let's check the vase mode printing. Now the Allen key is in the middle of this object. And now next to the wall. This is really transparent. And here you can see with my finger. And this is a calibration cube with three bottom and the top layers and one side wall. On side walls I can see the pattern of the infill. I can see it on the bottom layer too but it is not so visible on the top layer. Interesting. 
And now I start with drying off the carbon fiber version and don't forget this bag is resealable but on this side which is smaller. Interesting red color. Immediately I want to check how brittle is this material. Ah, oh, not so brittle like PLA. Just for comparison this is PLA. This is this PETG under the microscope and we can see the base material in red color and the carbon fibers are of course black. And just for comparison this is the carbon fiber PLA which is black the base and the carbon fibers. Let's start with the drying. And quick check of the different settings in Bamboo Studio, 255 the print temperature, 70 on the text tool bed and 11.5 the maximum flow rate. The printing is at 40% and even that critical bridging is printed and actually the carbon fibers really helps in the printability of this material. And the objects are ready for the mechanical testing. I'm starting with a tensile pulling test with horizontally printed objects and I'm starting with the basic. A little bit over 60 kilograms. Transfer sand. Over 85 kilograms, much stronger. And the carbon fiber version. Approximately around 60 kilograms. Interesting to see different breaks, but equal for one filament type. And now the layer attention test with vertically printed objects. Basic. This is good layer attention for the PETG. Transcend. It is too big differences, so I will repeat part of this test, but let's check the carbon fiber. And this is too weak. Everything below 20 kg is not acceptable for me. Now, since with the transcend, I got quite different results. I decided to reprint and repeat those objects. So I have two test objects here, and I will calculate the average value. And now the shear stress. And here you can see side by side all three objects. And in this case the brake load was very similar in all three cases. Only one part I couldn't fight from transfer set. And now the torque or twist test. This object is 6 mm in diameter and I want to record the load at 90 degree angle and the maximum load. And here you can see side by side all three objects and quite big difference in these loads at 90 degree angle. Interesting break, especially with this basic. I'm a little bit confused why it broke in so many pieces. Three point bending test, and I will measure the deformation after 1, 30, and 60 seconds under these loads. And here you can see side by side all three test objects. This is speed up video. Current uh, weight is 2.5 kilograms, 5 kilograms, and now 10 kilograms. And after I remove the load, I cannot see any permanent deformation on these test objects. They look quite straight. The isod impact test with these notch test objects to see which is more brittle or tough material. And I'm using here the half kilogram hammer. VTG basic. Zero position. Transosand. Carbon fiber. For the first look, the brake looks very similar in all three cases, but let's analyze the pictures and can collect the braking energy. This is the scale, and this is the zero position of the hammer, and this is position of the hammer, the edge position after breaking these three test objects. And if I measure everything from the zero position, I will get that age, the difference in height, to calculate the braking energy. And now the temperature test in the oven and I believe that this experiment is important with these materials because one of the reasons you want to use the PETG instead of the PLA is exactly this, bigger temperature resistance. This is speed up time lapse video and something as I expected, the basic and trussel scent very similar deformation temperature and the carbon fibers is always higher. Over 100 degrees Celsius, I will stop the experiment now. Just a quick touch test until they are still hot, but basically after half minutes I can even touch them with my hand. 
For the finish equally soft all three but biggest deformation on the basic and the smallest on carbon fiber version. The creep test the deformation under the constant load which will be 1.25 kilograms. And I want to measure the distance between two reference surfaces. I'm locking the position for more accurate measuring. So this is the basic translucent and the smallest deformation is on the carbon fiber version. And I will measure them every day. This is day five, I already measured them. The smallest deformation is on the carbon fiber version. These two are similar, but slightly better is the translucent. Now let's remove the load. And after 10 minutes without load, this is their deformation. Now let's analyze the data in this Excel table, which you can download from mytech1.com website. And as always, I will add these three lines to that summary table for my Patreon supporters as only give to them. Now let's start with the creep test. So these are the directly measured values, distance between two reference surfaces, but what they need is difference between two days. And that's what we can see here or on this graph. And we can see that on the second day, the creep is significantly reduced, but didn't stop completely. Even on the fifth day, I could measure approximately 0.1 millimeter of creeping or even a little bit more. On the tensile test with the horizontally printed objects, the transfer scent was the strongest. The basic and carbon fiber are very similar. Now on the layer adhesion test with transfer scent, I had quite big difference in first two attempts. So that's why I printed two more objects. And this is the average value from these four. And we can see that on transfer scent, we have the highest uh, layer adhesion. The basic, this is also acceptable but the carbon fiber version is quite weak. Everything below 20 kilograms is not really acceptable from my side. On the shell test, uh, very similar results with the all three materials. On the bending test, this is the deformation under these loads after 30 seconds. But I think this is more interesting where we can see the deformations under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And we can see on the start that the carbon fiber version was the best with less deformation. But on 5 kg, I can see that this is under a small angle, especially we can see it here. So this means that these loads are too big for this carbon fiber material and it starts with the creeping. On torque or twist test, interesting, I'm not sure why is this basic so weak. The strongest was again the transfer sand and the carbon fiber somewhere between. This is the load after 90 degree angle, so this is most important from these three. On isot or impact test, the best was the carbon fiber version. The basic and transfer sand, quite similar. But actually these are all three quite brittle materials. Their PLA materials was much better in this test. On the temperature test, which is important for these materials, the basic and transfer set very similar. And as always, the carbon fibers always helps in this kind of test. So it uh, started with deformation approximately at 77 degrees Celsius. And also I have here a small table for the price. The basic and transfer set same price and the carbon fiber version is a little bit expensive. I need one more testing for myself. This is the carbon fiber version printed on high temperature. I want to see if I will get better layer adhesion. And it brought approximately about 20 kilograms. Now quick conclusions for the end and first about carbon fiber filament. Well uh, there are some stress types where the orientation of those carbon fibers really helps but somehow I cannot really like the filament if it has weak layer adhesion. You know, so even if I pump up the temperature by 15 degrees Celsius even in that case it was uh, broken a little bit about 20 kilograms which is acceptable, but from this material I would expect a little bit better layer adhesion. Because for example with the PLSCF from Bamboo Lab we have great layer adhesion. About the basic and translucent, well actually uh, I like better the translucent, it performed better in most of the tests. And also I like the transparency of this material. Now about that impact test, this is something I want to investigate a little bit better because if you check uh, one of my previous videos where I compared three Bambule PLA filaments, they perform better, the breaking energy was higher compared to these PTG filaments. Well, uh, something I know that uh, this PTG is more flexible material, but the brake load is smaller compared to the PLA. So PLA will not bend, but it will break more suddenly. So that's why 
users usually thinks that uh, the PTG is tougher material compared to the PLA. But this is something I really want to investigate a little bit deeper and I hope you will follow me to that video too. Until that, thank you for watching and happy printing!